Uh, God is good. And all the time. Uh, please sit down. This, I always wonder why people have to stand. And that is going to set the tone for my address today. Uh, my dear brothers and sisters, I've chosen not to, to separate you, even though I'm very deeply attached to TSC, and I would have felt that I should recall, but we are together. And I would like us to remember, especially having listened to my brother, President Indimuli, <laughs> that... Uh, I strongly believe that if you don't love yourself and you don't love your neighbor, therefore you can't love God. All the rest is pretense. And I, I believe that I'm thoroughly humbled to be before you. I don't think I qualify to be before you, even though I'm one of you, I've taught for quite a few years, but I also strongly believe that it is God the Almighty that has enabled me to be here, to stand before you here this day. So first of all, we should thank him for giving us yet another day in our lives. I don't intend to bore you. I do not intend to answer my critics outside the critical stakeholders. They are welcome because that is what is expected of a cabinet secretary. But I have decided, when I went for training uh, in the US just the other day, I was first of all shocked that the Ministry of Education is the most difficult everywhere in the world. <laughs> so it, it has kind of energized me. The second thing I found there, out there, is that uh, the least uh, funded Ministry of Education in Africa, Asia, and the Middle East gets about 22% of the budget. So at 35% of the budget, we are definitely not doing very badly. But I have then decided that I will take two legacy issues. One of them is 100% transition. The other one is competency-based curriculum. And my dear brothers and sisters in this room, you are there for my employers because I am not proud. I'm just saying that if I can't deliver, then I don't need to be here. And I need you. You don't need me. I need you as a team in order for me to deliver. And so I am going to explain to you the way I look. I know Nikona Surambaya, that's one. But, but having said so, my strength, first of all, comes from God and my firmness. So don't tell me to stop being firm. I shall not listen to you. There are people out there who have decided to demonize my firmness for, arrog for arrogance. How can a stare boy be arrogant? We were trained to be servant leaders. Trained to be leaders by example. That's why you see me everywhere. So I'm telling you this so that you, you don't listen to any other description of Magoha, son of Magoha, that you may hear from somewhere else. But I shall be firm with myself, with you, and with anybody else. And that firmness, together with truthfulness and neighborliness, then we shall move forward. Second point, when I listen to my brother, President Inimul, it is like we are different groups. No, we are not different groups. We can only deliver as one, as one group. So in this whole cycle that you have here, that's why I get embarrassed when you stand. Because I'm just one among you. And by the grace of God, I am here. So. Every critical player is important, including the other stakeholders who are not principals. 
If we don't understand this, then we are not going anywhere. That includes the associations, the unions, and, and what have you, everybody else. So if we agree that that's the way we are going to go, then as you criticize us, give us concrete solutions to move forward. Why do I say so? I am a professor, and people say I am proud. Yes. If I'm not proud of myself, who is going to be proud for me? <laughs> so you should also be proud of yourselves as teachers. Do you get the point? And teachers are the best, the most important professionals. Why are we proud? It's because we are thinkers as teachers. A teacher is a thinker. A teacher is not, is not an activist. Any teacher who has become an activist should resign from the noble profession of teaching. Because when you are a teacher, you look at issues and think openly and widely. Do you get the point? A professor is just another name of being a teacher. If I was a professor, I'm told, no, you must teach like this. I'll tell you, thank you very much. Let me go and teach somewhere else. So that's why I respect you, and I want to start by saying that uh, you should realize that as a thinker, there is no better person than yourself. A thinker never thinks on one track. A thinker is able to bite the bullet and say, well, unless you convince me otherwise, this is the way I'm going. Don't make noise. You don't have to make noise. Let's think. Do you get the point? And whatever you are arguing about should be measurable. A thinker does not talk about things that you cannot measure, that you cannot approve. And I'm proud of you because you are thinkers. And let me tell you why. The first point I want to make here is that I'm actually very proud. Because through my firmness with the regional education coordinators, both in the Teacher Service Commission and the Ministry of Education, we have reached out to you, those in boarding schools. We, we have reached out to you, and even those in day schools. Because now they have started banning even day schools, isn't it? And we have risen together, and you have reduced banning by almost 75% compared to the same period last year. Now, that is, that is team, if you can't clap for yourself, who is going to clap for you? That is, that is teamwork. And as thinkers, we agree that it is better to punish one child rather than punishing the parents of the whole school so that they produce money that they don't have to build another structure. That is one of the things I'm trying to do at the ministry. And I cannot do it without you. So when we say, please just check when somebody has gone to prep, check the rooms when they, after they have left. Check everywhere. And they are finding people who have poured petrol on the mattresses and are just waiting to throw a matchstick from outside. So you are my heroes. I want to thank you for that. And you are also your own heroes. You are also your own heroes because you have children, isn't it? Who go to those schools. And you might also be a parent where another student burns a school and you are told you must contribute. So please let us work together in that direction. Second thing I want to say about teachers today, as I honor you, all of you, is that uh, I work best as, as a submarine. You know what a submarine does? It goes underwater. So there are schools I have checked that don't know that I've been there. Many of them. And what I have seen I have been happy about. Starting from primary school, the teachers are in the school and they are teaching and they definitely need our support. So I, before I read what I came to read, I now want to try to answer President Nimuli in the best way I can, despite the fact that, again, another thing that I'm different with as a non, I can't say that I can't deal with politics. I'm dealing with it every day. 
but I will not be a politician. It's not my cup of tea. And that makes me to talk a little bit too much about things I'm not supposed to talk of. And on the issue of increased teachers at school, I will say more than Belio, and I will say more than my dearest chairperson, Dr. Nzomo, because I get my orders from only one person. And one of the orders was that I pro we make sure there is money for teacher interns. And that, that money is going to be available. She's diplomatic. I'm not in that section. <laughs> that money is going to be available. It will be available to all schools to empower them, to employ interns. And since we work very well with Teacher Service Commission, my sister, Dr. Nzomo, and my dearest sister, Dr. Nancy Macharia, whom I'm missing, but I think she'll come soon, we will be able to monitor and get a feedback to Kahi uh, Ndimuli. So this year, in this year's budget, that has been captured. So you can go and take it to the bank. With regard to NHIF, I unfortunately happen to be a doctor. If we pay an insurance premium, that premium is paid as lump sum. So I get confused when President Inimuli is saying they are charged 1,500 per visit. That should not bother you as long as the premium was paid. Once the premium is paid, the way it works, I break my leg, it is treated, and NHIF refunds. That is the way it has to be. Any child that is not on NEMIS, that is unwell and has gone to a treatment center, must and shall be treated as long as there is evidence that that child is a student. <clears throat> it's not a favor. That is the way it, it has to be. Because I don't know, in terms of the total amount we pay to NHIF, it's a huge amount, isn't it? So our children, I keep saying I'm only here because of our children. And I, will, I don't want to instruct Belio because he has been in the ministry more than me. But you see, I always leapfrog him. We work very well, and he doesn't mind. I will also go to the ground. So if you find any child taken back home, do you get the point? the president will know about it. And, and you are most unlikely not going to keep your job whoever you are. Who do you think you are? Because you have to give the child what is, what is due to that child. Because when I was at NHIF this morning, they told me very clearly they don't return patients away. But I have to listen to Kahi Ndimuli because we have worked very well. So that one also you can take to the bank. On the competency-based curriculum, where I want to thank my brother, uh, Ben Academia, and his colleague, uh, who are together with uh, Indimuli and his colleague, who have publicly pronounced that they support CBC. It doesn't mean they support it with, with eyes closed. Do you get the point? Kupet has said so many times they support CVC. They are not supporting it with eyes closed. So is the Catholic Church and many other critical stakeholders. My plea to the others <laughs> is that please come on board. But don't come on board by saying, oh, you have to roll this thing back. I have my orders from my employer, which I will defend with the last drop of my blood. <laughs> and uh, if it gets to a point now that I've been convinced, because I've been to the field, I have been to the field. I visited over 50 odd primary schools at random. I don't announce so that there is fanfare. I found out the majority of the teachers are women. They are in the class, 
They are engaging children in a manner that I have never seen in my life. If you want to counter check, why don't you go to the field and check yourself? Are you together? That's why I'm now saying, I don't understand. If you are a teacher, why don't we think together? The children are actually being empowered. You will see they are being empowered. Even in the most, uh, in the bush somewhere. I've been to the bush in Kilifi, I've been to the bush in Ukambani, I've been to the bush in Busia, and many other places. And tomorrow, I will now go to another bush just to find out whether the books were delivered within this area. Because I don't trust anybody except, except God. <laughs> Even though I've been told books have been delivered, I will go and look at the place with the eyes that God has given me. So please help me and let us work together. On the issue of increased capitation, Ladies and gentlemen, the cabinet of the Republic of Kenya has 22 ministers, isn't it? Let us, I, I started by saying we are a team, so don't now keep quiet on me. <laughs> That's 22 ministers, and I am one, already with 35% of the budget. Who the hell do you think is going to support me in that cabinet? <laughs> no, let, let, us, let, let us engage, please. Who, who is going to support me in that cabinet? Instead, they want to claw some of the money away. That's, that's the shock that I got. Which takes me back to a situation where I say, well, since I'm not going to fail and we are not going to fail, can we, as the Kenyan public and parents and government, look for other solutions? And... I have asked Kahi Ndimuli, I've spoken to many people. In fact, next time when I meet the president quietly, I will also explain to him that there is a group of Kenyan middle class who will not mind contributing to better their schools. <laughs> Why is government saying no, there should be a blanket brand, ban? Can the parent-teachers associations be empowered to agree to the level that they can? As long as the poor and indigent child is not forced to pay. The poor and indigent child is not forced to pay and you will find one or two heretic parents who are rich but they don't want to pay. Don't force them. But I believe then you can capture about 70% of candidates. This will help us to improve most of the things that we are talking about. <laughs> P.S. I know I'm walking in a dangerous ground here, but if they, were to, if they were to ensure that they confirm with us what they want to do, for example, with competency-based curriculum, we are going to need infrastructure. We have only been given 1.2 billion. 1.2 billion. Why can we not ask the parents to chip in, those who can afford to chip in? This is what I'm saying, and if it is done properly, this is the way I want us to go. But please, let principals not ask for money for other things. And don't take a child out of school because he has not contributed, because it should be voluntary contribution, isn't it? Menyamada <laughs> sasa tena. I strong, I strongly believe, I strongly believe, since we have the highest electricity penetration in Africa, through the wisdom of the current president and his government, he will not be avert to lowering tariffs for schools. And apart from talking to the energy minister, we shall also talk to other people who are more important, which means we shall talk to the DP and the president himself. There must be a formula, because if the president wants to leave a legacy of 100% transition, 
You don't shoot your legacy on the foot. You won't go anywhere. Uh, uh, do, you, do you hear this? So I'm very glad that uh, in the Muli that you brought this to our attention. We are going to engage because if you win, I also win, the presidency also wins. That's what we want. And our children also win. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I cannot pretend before you that I, I understand everything about NEMIS. But I want to give you my word. <laughs> I want to give you my word, point number one, that for the next two to three weeks, I will go and camp at NEMIS to understand. Because I don't, I don't believe anybody. I don't believe what anybody is telling me. I want to understand what is in NEMIS. Are we together? You on your part, Kahi Dimuli, can you find out that we don't have ghost schools or ghost children so that uh, we are able to work together? I've just spoken to C.S. Matiangi a few minutes ago, and uh, he tells me very firmly that by December this year, this problem of identification for NEMIS is going to be a thing of the past especially with, with Uduma number, which then makes me to come back to you all. Have you ensured that all your students have got the Huduma number? Because... What are they saying? If you don't... If... Thank you very much. If you are one of those who still believes that Uduma number is evil, get your birth certificate. Are we together? The temporary solution we have for now is that as soon as we get the data, all the monies that are due will be paid for in full. That money is there. But in the same tone, if we catch a thief, I have no teeth. If we, you know, it is a, a matter of choice. Eh? Because I've told you where my strength comes from. The fear of God and firmness. So if you catch a thief, that's, a, that's your choice. There's no point to make noise. And I would have said, if a thief is caught, if I was a thief and I was caught, I would say, Paul Esana, he requires Shetani, even though Shetani was not there. <laughs> but if you are remorseful, you can be forgiven. If you are a thief and you are thumping your, your chest, then you will get a very long sentence, isn't it? So for NEMIS, uh, I believe that we are going to walk this because it is one of the things that can make me also fail. Because I've chosen only two legacy units. Textbooks. I caught one thing from Indimuli. And I take full responsibility as the minister in charge, who is not a coward. Naskia, if we have given used data for textbooks, then that same data should be used for funding. It's as simple as that. As we clean, going forward, let us be fair to everybody. Otherwise, even the textbook should follow the name is life. Isn't it? But I want to pause here. I'm seeing Madame Lesuda there. I'm seeing my service commanders. General Duale is there. Uh, how do you spend your day? How do you spend your day? I noticed that when I, I was given reports, they were all fake reports. They are all fake reports. The most embarrassing one was when I was before Parliament and one of my directors gave me a wrong report and I read it before Parliament. <laughs> then we agreed, then we agreed that he goes to check 
but he didn't know how I operate. I immediately went into action like a submarine and found out there was nothing going on there. He came to me the following day and said, now they are on the site. I say, you are a stupid idiot. <laughs> so the reason why I'm charging my service commanders is this. If they want the president to succeed, their place is not in the seat in the office. It is out in the field. And if you don't see them, tell me. Do you understand? If nobody has come to your school, no quality assurance officer from both TSC and uh, national government has come to your school for the whole term, then there's a big problem. Then we are just making noise, isn't it? So I'm pleading with you to try what I do. I'm not special. I'm just slightly senior in age. But I can tell you how I operated yesterday. I started at 6 with a breakfast meeting. Are we together? After that, I went to another one. After that, I went to give my class, which I must give. And then I started thinking of preparing to come here. And I was here on time to host the dinner at over 60. What the hell are you doing? Success is not going to come to you. You have to go to it. And when each and every one of us does the little that is required, the synergy will bring us the results. Isn't it? Since I, I wanted to be very nice today, I'm not even going to read the speech. <laughs> Just to say that I strongly believe, for example, TSC is known at Harvard University. So it is one of the very best teacher organizations. I felt proud. That's the only thing that identified me there. And TSC cannot be known if it is not because of you. Do you see the point? Oh, how, 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 how do they do this? I would like to come. I say, come, I will take you to them. But the story ended there. So my charge to you as I, as I leave the podium my dear brothers and sisters, is that if we are just a group of 10,000 people like we are here, there is no energy. If we become a team of these 10,000 plus all the people under you, and you only do what you have to do, my first charge to you is do not believe what your subordinate tells you. Please go and check. If you just do that, you will see what happens. Because me, I'm telling you through experience. I'm given reports like this. Then I close my eye and pick one. Then I test it. It's negative. I pick another one. It's negative. Dustbin. Because then if I follow that report, then I'm done, isn't it? They'll tell you, kill, kill. you call your top people, they tell you, no, everything is all right. Hakuna shida. How can everything be all right when I say, even with the CBC, there are problems that I need all of you, including NAT, my dearest union called NAT. <laughs> I also need you to support, because you have a mandate to support. So I can't say everything is going on well with the CBC. We are doing our very best. And I want to say this, and I hope uh, NAT is also listening. There is no time that our country will be ready to roll out the competency-based curriculum. So I want to congratulate the government, I was not there then, for being bold enough to launch it. I also remember when I was out of the country, there was one very dear lady who was asked, okay, what could have been done differently? And I was very keen because I need to know. And you know what she said? We should have been training teachers for five years. Either she doesn't know what I know, or she's ignorant. Because the government, one of the things I was told to do as I was being employed, I went with the president aside and he said, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 
So when you see me very firm, mimi niko na mchungaji yako, sio wewe. Teachers, how many do you uh, employ here? 28,000. Say, that is not enough. Make sure you get money to get interns. And make sure every year they keep on employing 28,000. So it is like somebody who wants to buy a Volkswagen, which is at 8,000 shillings. And you, ha you say you want to buy, you have 7,500. Instead of taking a loan to buy it, you say, let me wait until I have the money. Next year it goes to 10,500. You have 8,500. The following year it goes to 30,000. Who is the fool? <laughs> so the government made a very wise decision to launch the CBC. And we welcome everybody's contribution. And that contribution must be based on truth. And I want to give you my final take. You see these hands? They are blessed by the grace of God up to today. See, I'm alive. Who tells you this is the one that I'm not going to deliver? I've delivered everything else. <laughs> How? If we work together, we are going to deliver together. So with those uh, very many remarks, I've chosen in, honor, in order to honor you, I will only read the closing point. He beat you out as he saw me. And you know why? When we have given you a job as a, as a school principal, if we don't empower you to do the job, then you will not be able to do the job. That's why I get very annoyed when people say, when people say, oh, you see, this one should not have been done like this. We are not prescriptive. Are you together? Feel empowered to work within the law, but feel empowered to give us the results. I'm only interested in your results. Ile mzuri, apana ile ingine. So feel empowered, and most of you are already empowered. When you don't do well, be proud that you have not done well. No, it is true. Kwani the dunia itanguka chini? Be very proud. If I was now to go, say I'm sacked now. Sendio? All the security batteries will go. The vehicle will go. Do you think I cannot get a lift to the hotel to carry my things to go back? <laughs> That's it. So, be proud. Be very proud of your empowerment. The government has empowered you. The government has empowered you. Please just do what the government wants you to do. And feel free to engage us, isn't it? And if you follow that uh, remark, since I come from a very poor background, first of all, for those of you who will comply with what I have said, you will find that you have saved a little money which money you should apply to the less fortunate children under your care. And the way you save money, you want 200 bags of maize. I believe that money can't come all the time because I have to pay tax for a teacher to distribute to, to Belio, the Belio gives you. But even whenever your money comes, you can, you can be smart, isn't it? Don't let a big amount of money sit in the bank without earning an interest, even for a night. First point. Second point, take time. Go to the market yourself. Don't send your bazaar. There are, some of them are thieves. <laughs> Go to the market so that you say, okay, this time maize is about 1,500 shillings. Let me buy 200 bucks and, and, and keep. If you are not very wise, you will buy them at 3,500. And then you make a lot of noise. Government money is not enough. So you have the power. Use it. And we are there to support you. I want to thank you very much. Is there anything I have not mentioned? Is there anything I have not mentioned?
according to my writings, everything that I noted I've mentioned. Where, where is the noise? As I'm thinking. <laughs> May I now declare this uh, very noble? You, as my employers, you know you are my employers by choice. So, may I declare this? You are very noble uh, conference open and think freely. Be a teacher, be above everybody else. Yeah.